Welcome to Iron Ladies Tai Chi. We're going to start with some warm ups. First off, a bit of a shake out through the body, through the arms, through the wrists, through the back, through the hips, through the legs. A little bit of a bounce to let things loosen up. Okay. A few soft circles of the wrists. Back the other way, shoulder width stance, sinking down into hips, knees and ankles, extending up from the crown, down from the tailbone, turning the body, letting the arms swing, letting them hit against your body, allowing your head to turn to look over your shoulder. arms. Butterfly hands coming up from the feet, relaxing back down to the feet. Then left hand behind the back, both hands up and right hand. Larger circle as you're comfortable with. And back the other way. Shake out through the legs. Bit of a pat down through the arms, down the inside of the arm, rolling the arm over to come back up the outside of the arm, down onto the hand. Across the chest, down the other arm, up the outside, down the inside, down to the bottom of the ribs, round to the back, down the back of the legs, as far as comfortable, across the feet, back up the inside, round to the back again. Same again. Giving knees a bit of a rub, getting a bit of circulation around the knee joints and feet together. If you've had a knee replacement, just straight backwards and forwards. Otherwise, if you haven't, gentle circle. Only if it's comfortable, if there's any pain, don't do it. And back the other way. Down to the ankles, ball of the foot down, rolling the knee out to the side so you can feel the hip, knee and ankle all circling. Back the other way. Bit of a shake out, same to the other side. Opening up, feeling the hip, knee and ankle all circling. And back the other way. Bit of a shake out again, give the back a shake. Breath in, shoulders up and back. Breath out, relaxing down the back. Breath in, drawing up the front of the body. Finding your own rhythm. Then back the other way, up the back of the body, relaxing down the front. Little shake out through the arms, through the shoulders, through the legs and we're ready to start. We're going to do the Bardoan Jin. So we're going to start, feet together, hands down by sides. First I'll go through each move step by step. So beginning, shifting the weight a little, I'll be doing this mirror image also, shifting the weight a little into the right leg, sinking, stepping out to shoulder width. Feeling the rhythm of your breath, making sure it's a little sunk into the knees, our commencing move, we come up, palms facing towards each other, wrist a little bent like this, so it feels there's a stretch all the way down to the fingers here as we come up, 
and then breath out, we release that stretch, the arms come in towards us, and like the hands are on top of a ball, breath out to gently push down. Again, maintaining the palms in this position, there's a little bit of a stretch in here. I repeat that three times. Breath in as you come up, and breath out as you relax in and sink down. That's it. Just practice that until you're comfortable with that. Feeling also that you're coming up from the legs, so the move starting in the feet, then in the body, then up through the arms, and then releasing, sinking down. The next move, we open up. Trying to feel like your fingers are being pulled by strings this way and this way about a 45 degree angle, so not too far up here, shoulders are up and tight, shoulders are still relaxed there, and then rolling the arms, so we've got a stretch, and then breath out to relax into centre, sinking down into the knees a bit, holding the ball. Often in this position I see people holding a square like this with their elbows tucked in, rather than like we're holding a ball. Or you can imagine there's a big tree trunk in front of you and you're trying to hold that in front of you. Not trying to hold it back here where you'd be inside the tree trunk. You want to have that out to the front, okay? And then we take the breath out. We sink the hands down. Link the fingers together for the heavenly lift. Again, knees are a bit bent to start. The breath in as we come up. Lifting, watching the hands, rolling them, stretching up to the front as far as is comfortable, then looking straight to the front, bring the hands up as high as comfortable above the head. And here we want to feel a sense of, ah, and like the arms are floating down through water, sinking down into the feet. Same again, linking fingers, breath in as we come up rolling the hands, watching them as they go, following them up, then looking to the front as we stretch up above the head as high as comfortable. Okay. Breath out, release, and again, imagine the arms are floating down through the water. I'm just gonna turn side on so you can see that from side on, linking the fingers, breath in as we come up, and stretching up, and still a little bit out to the front. Then we drop the head to look straight ahead, the arms come back above the head as high as comfortable, and then release to sink down. Okay, and when we're doing the form, we do that one six times. If you want to, you can link your fingers three times with one little finger closer to you, and three times with the other little fingers closer to you. That's not critical, it just gives you a slightly more even stretch and just a little bit of a mental exercise as well, okay? So, we'll just do that one one more time. Breath in. Stretching up. Hands are still a little bit out to the front. Then we look to the front, bring the hands as far back above the head as is comfortable. Open up, breath out, sink down. Then we're going to step out to the left. Hands are crossed, we step out to a horse stance and we sit down onto our horse. In this position, feet pretty much pointing straight to the front, rather than sort of out like this, okay? And make sure you're also not leaning forward. Make sure your spine feels like it's straight up and down, okay? We take the breath in to come up. We make the pistol shapes. Now often, see here, you can see my palm, this whole part of my palm is stretched. I often see people scrunch their hands in like this, okay? We don't want that scrunched, we want to have that open. So look at your palm and check that this is open and stretched, okay? Ideally, we only have one with the pointer finger extended, but if it fills up too much of your head to have one down and one up, just have them both up, okay? I'm going to do it with just one pointing up. We cross them over as as we come up, we make our pistol shape there. Turn the body and then drawing the bow breath out and sinking down. Here we want a sense of stretch from this shoulder to this shoulder. So shoulders are back like this, so there's a little stretch here, or quite a strong stretch. And then breath in, fingers all extend on both hands. Watch the hand near the face as we come up through the legs, 
out through the body, stretch palm to palm, breath out to sink down. Same again, breath in as we come up, make the pistol shape. Again, make sure this palm is open, make sure this is not scrunched in. Okay? We turn, we draw the bow, like we're trying to touch our palm on one side of the room, we're trying to touch our elbow on the far side of the room. Check this finger here, is it pointing up to the ceiling? If it's pointing straight ahead like this or this, there'll be no stretch. Okay, So we want that palm like it's trying to touch that wall, this elbow like it's trying to touch this wall and that feels quite stretched. Breath in, all the fingers straighten, the legs straighten, arm straightens, and then ah. Same again, breath in. As we come up, make the pistol shapes. Check, you can still see the palm. Turn the body, breath out to sink down. And breath in, extend the fingers, come up. Extend, breath out to sink down. When we do the form, we do that three times to each side, okay? Then the next one, we step back into the centre. Separating heaven and earth. I think it's helpful to think of this as there being a little ceiling just here above your head that's falling down on you and you're trying to push it up and there's a floor just here, just below hip height, that you're trying to push down. And if we get our hands onto that floor on that ceiling and then try, rather than just doing this with our arms, try and expand here to push this up and here to push this down. So it feels like all this core is really working. We also want to check this top hand. See, this top hand is pointing to the front. It should be palm up. If you roll this top one up and think about bringing it back above your shoulder, it tends to roll better into that palm up position. It's good every now and then just to check to make sure it's doing what you think it's doing, okay? We take a breath out and we relax back to centre. Breath in, same to the other side. Again, one hand onto the ceiling, one onto the floor and then extending up. Stretching this gap between the hip and the ribs, compressing this one, and then... Same again. Okay? Make sure, just little things to check, is that that bottom hand, if we have a look down at that, is palm straight down the floor and fingers pointing straight ahead. This top one, palm up and fingers pointing in towards your head. Okay, so just check that. And again, if we can, that's back above the shoulder a little bit, rather than out here. Okay? And breath out. Same again. Breath in. Bottom one, palm down, fingers the front. Top one, palm up, fingers in towards the head. Shoulders a little bit back. And breath out. In the form, again, we do that three times to each side. We go to the left first and then to the right. Next one, gazing over the shoulder. We take a breath in. Again, we've sunk into the legs a bit. So every time we come back from here, into the legs. Then as we breathe in, legs straightening. Shoulders back, palms open, squeezing elbows together behind the back, looking over the left shoulder and down with the eyes turned as far as comfortable. And then, ah, feel the release, back to centre. Same to the other side, opening up. Shoulders back, elbows squeezing together, looking back over the shoulder and down with the eyes turned as far as you can, and then breath out to relax. We want a real clear sense here of oomph and a bit of effort as we open up, and then a really clear sense of ah, release, and then no effort at all to come back to centre. Okay, same again, breath in to open, and again, make sure you do squeeze those elbows together. One of the things we're trying to do with this move is lengthen and stretch these muscles here and strengthen these ones up here because often we tend to have a bit of a hollow chest because we do so many activities out in front of the body, okay? So again, in the form, three times to each side. The next one, we come back to centre, just a gentle press down. Open the palms. I'm going to open them here. I want to not just open your palms, but you want to open the shoulder a little bit and then the upper arm, then the forearm. So shoulders open, upper arm, forearm, palms. So it feels a little bit stretched. So if I just do this, you can see it's just my palms. 
I open up the chest, then the upper arms, got this gentle stretch, we come up and over, and this time stepping out to the right into a wide stance, hands down. Now if you're comfortable, you can go a little bit wider, you can walk the toes out and the heels out to make this a little bit wider, circling the head and circling the tail. One of the things we want to try and get with this is a feeling like our head is like a pendulum. So imagine that fist is my head. I want to imagine that it's swinging like a pendulum. So this is the point that it's sort of pivoting around. But when we do the exercise, this is the point that our head is pivoting around. It's swinging like a pendulum, okay? Trying to get a nice round feel to it, okay? So we sink down onto our horse, hands on the thighs, about halfway between the hip and the knee. Breath in to come up. Shift the weight across. We should feel a stretch here. Then we want to turn our body so it's facing straight where this leg is. Bend at the hip to look down to your toe, bending as far as comfortable. Keep watching that toe as you shift your weight across and straighten the leg. And let your head swing to look about halfway up the wall that's to your side. And then sinking down. Watching the left foot this time. Keep watching it as we shift the weight across, straightening that leg. Watch up your leg across your body and let your head swing up like a pendulum. Same again, sink it down, watch the foot, shift the weight across, watch up the leg across your body and up to the side. And again, trying to get a feeling like your head is a pendulum, swinging down and across and then up. Okay, and on the last one, as we come back to centre, as our weight is coming back, we want to step in as our weight comes in, okay? If we bring our weight back and then we step in, it's like, Ugh. okay? So just a couple of times, just get into that sort of position. And as your weight comes across, step in and it's much easier to step in, okay? Next one, we take the hands to the front, stretch forward and up. And then palm to palm, breath out, whole body release, down to the feet. And this one is raising the hands and touching the toes. Here we're stretching the fingers forward. So rather than just lifting straight up, we're trying to get a little bit of a curve here through this part of the arm as they come up. When we get to the top, palms towards each other, breath out, down to the bottom of the ribs, then palms up. With this point here, the karate chop point, we're massaging along below the bottom rib as far as comfortable. You get to about here and it will kind of stick. You won't be able to go any further, okay? So at that point, we then turn the fingers in and this point here, called the hergu point, we want to get that bit, that soft bit between the thumb and your forefingers. Just poke it a couple of times to get you a clear sense of that that's where it is. Bring that back, we put that soft part on, we massage over the kidneys into the spine, then we turn the palms and massage down either side of the spine, down across your bottom, down the legs, keep pressing on the legs as far as comfortable, fingers get to the feet, draw the outline of the foot, then palms down. Let your hips and bottom come back a little as you stretch forward and up. Palm to palm at the top, breath out to sink down. So again, our key points, we want to have the karate chop points to massage back as far as comfortable, then this soft bit to massage in, then palms onto the back to massage down either side of the spine, down the spine, bending just as far as comfortable, massaging down the legs, Round the outside of the toes, and again, let your hips and bottom feel like they're going back a little as your fingers stretch forward and up. Palm to palm, breath out to relax down. Traditionally in the form, we do that six times. If you feel like that's putting a lot of pressure on your back, you want to make sure you bend your knees a bit, make sure you don't bend too far, always only go as far as comfortable. Also, you might want to just break it down to just doing two or three repeats instead of six repeats, okay? So, with our last one, we'd be in this sort of position. We relax down to waist height, 
going into our punching with angry eyes. We bring our thumbs in onto the palms and make the baby fist with the thumb inside. We sink down, step out to a wide stance, sit down onto our horse, and again, pulling shoulders back and squeezing elbows together. So again, part of this is stretching these and strengthening these guys, okay? Make our big eyes as big as possible. And try and keep those elbows pulled in. So you've got a feeling when you punch that there's a real sense of resistance there until you're about three quarters out and then ah, relax, extend. Roll the arm to turn the palm to the side and then like a stop sign, palm to the front, breath in, come up and over, thumb in, grab it, and again, like there's real effort there to pull that in, pull the shoulders back, squeeze the elbows in. Same again, big eyes as we send our punch out, relax them as we relax the arm. Roll the arm, bend the wrist. Key point again, keeping this arm nice and straight. If I do this, there's no stretch there. So if you do that with me, if you bend that elbow, there's no stretch. If you keep that arm nice and straight and bend the wrist, very strong sense of stretch, turn that over, grab the thumb, pull it in. The end of that one, a press down. And you're looking for a feeling as you press down like you're actually helping to push yourself up. So if you really had your hands on something and pushed yourself up, you get this feeling of it helping you up. So from there, we're pushing ourselves up, stepping back to a central position. Feet pretty much together. Now this one, we have hands on our lower back and we're massaging up either side of the spine as we breathe in. The breath in as we massage up and just across the bottom of the kidneys here, just below the ribs, breath out to massage down. We're also coming up on the balls of our feet. So we want to keep our knees feeling like they're a bit pressed towards each other. Breath in as we come up, massage up. Breath out as we massage down and a little drop onto the heels if you're comfortable with it. Key points, you must have your knees bent if you're going to do a little drop onto the heels. Also, as we come up, make sure your knees are not separating like this. Make sure your weight is not rolling out to the outside of your feet here. Make sure that the whole part of the toes and the ball of the foot is staying in contact with the ground. If you find there's a point that you get to as you come up, where it's like, oh yeah, all my toes are pressing into the ground and then suddenly it rolls out, you've gone too high. You're not quite strong enough to do that that high yet. And it's much better to do it a bit lower and keep all the toes and ball of the foot in contact with the ground than it is to do it higher, okay? So we breathe in, we massage up, we breathe out, we massage down. In the form, we do that one seven times. Okay, so we're gonna take a breath in, Open up again, like the fingers are being stretched out to the side and down towards the floor, rolling the arm so the whole arm is getting a stretch, and then breath out to relax in onto Dantian. Okay, so we'll go through the form in a more flowing sort of way and less breaking it down kind of a way. Okay, so starting feet together, very first thing, turning from the Dantian upper body, a little bit to the right, sink the weight there, step out to shoulder width. Feel the rhythm of the breath, still a little bit sunk down in the legs, breath in to draw up, a little bit of this bend in the wrist here, breath out to relax elbows and shoulders in and gently press down. Allowing the fingers to trail behind a little as we come up, and then elbows and shoulders drop, last of all hands drop. We go one more time, breath in as you come up, and breath out to sink in, and down. Coming up through the legs, stretching the fingers down towards the floor, spiralling the arms, breath out to relax into centre, holding the ball. Make sure it's a nice ball shape. Hold this pose as long as you like. Breath out to relax hands down, 
ready for our heavenly lift, linking the fingers. Breath in, coming up through the legs, through the body, through the arms, up to the hands, look to the front as the hands come back above the head, open up, out breath, and arms feeling like they're sinking down through water. Fingers trailing a little bit. Same again, breath in, watching the hands as they go. Looking to the front as we stretch up above the head, open up, breath out to sink down. the hands to the point where they're stretched up then bring them back above the head as you look to the front breath out to sink down if you like to try linking the fingers with the other little finger closest to you you can do that for the next three breath in as you come up rolling the hands open up breath out to sink down The bottom of this one sinking down into the legs, crossing the hands, stepping out to the left into a horse stance, sinking down, ready for archer draws the bow. Breath in to come up, making pistol shape, left hand. Turning the body, make sure the palm is open, palm pressing towards one side of the room, elbow drawing to the other, stretching across the front of the chest, then stretching palm to palm, breath out. Breath in as we come up, make the pistol shape, grab the bow string, breath out as we sink down to draw our bow, palm trying to press on one side of the room, elbow trying to press on the other. Come up, watch the arm that's extending, stretch palm to palm, release down. Same again, breath in as you come up, breath out as you sink down and draw the bow, stretching across the top of the chest, breath in as you come up and stretch palm to palm, breath out to relax down. Same again, breath in as we come up. Form a pistol shape with the right hand this time. Breath out to drop down and draw the bow, sitting on our horse. Breath in to come up and extend. Breath out to sink down. Go one more to each side. Breath in as we come up. Left hand makes the pistol shape. Breath out to sink down and draw the bow. Stretch across the top of the chest. Breath in to stretch palm to palm, breath out to relax down. Last one, breath in as we come up. Right hand forms the pistol shape, breath out as we sink down, draw the bow, stretching across the top of the chest. Breath in to come up and extend, breath out to relax down and step back to centre. Hands up to the base of the ribs. Breath in separating heaven and earth rolling top hand palm up bottom hand palm down stretching here compressing here breath out to release legs straightening a little as we breathe in stretching up increasing this gap decreasing this one and then breath out same again breath in Making sure that top hand goes into that palm up position so we've got the nice stretch. Making sure the bottom hand is palm down, fingers pointing straight to the front. We go one more time to each side, breath in, stretching to push the ceiling up and the floor down and then release. 
And last time, breath in. And breath out. Next one, gazing over the shoulder. Breath in, opening up shoulders back, arms out, elbows squeezing towards each other behind the back. Looking over the shoulder, breath out to release. No effort at all to come back to centre. Breath in to open up, shoulders back. Looking over the shoulder, elbows squeeze together and release. Same again, breath in. And breath out. One more to each side. Also coming up through the legs a bit, so it feels like this move starts from your feet and then it sinks back to your feet as we sink down into the legs. One more time, breath in to open and breath out to release, back to centre. Gently press down. Open the chest and the shoulders and the upper arms, forearms, palms. Breath in to come up and over. Stepping out to the right into a wide stance, hands down onto the thighs. If you're comfortable in a wider stance, you can walk out a little bit wider on the horse. Breath in to come up, shift the weight across towards the right, feel the stretch. Turn the body, bend at the hip to look at that right foot. Keep watching it as you shift your weight across, watch up the leg, cross the front of your body and swing your head to look halfway up the wall to the side. Breath out to sink down, watching the left foot. Keep watching it as you straighten that leg to shift the weight across, watch up your leg, cross the body, up to the other side. Same again, breath out, sink down, shift the weight across. I'm trying to get the feeling like the head is like a pendulum swinging up to one side and then swinging across to the other side. There we go, one more to each side, shifting the weight across, swinging up to the side, shifting the weight across. This time we will watch all the way up to the ceiling as our head comes back to centre we step in just to about a shoulder width or slightly wider stance. Breath in to come up and over. Breath out to relax down. Palms down, fingers to the front to stretch forward and up for raising the hands and touching the toes. Palms towards each other, breath out to sink down to the bottom of the ribs. Palms up to massage below the ribs. Then this soft point here to massage over the kidneys, palms onto the back, breath out to massage down as far as comfortable. Only ever bend as far as comfortable. As you come forward, let your hips and bottom go back a little. Takes a bit of pressure off the lower back. Breath out as you relax down. Breath in as we massage below the ribs and down the back and breath out as we sink down as far as comfortable. Draw the shape of the outline of the feet. If you're flexible enough, you can put your palms on the floor and stretch them forward and then up. Arms towards each other, breath out to sink down. Breath in to massage below the ribs, over the kidneys, down the back, down the legs, Round the outside of the feet to the toes, palms down, fingers stretch forward. Breath out to relax down. Palms up, massage below the ribs. Palms onto the back, down the back. Breath out as we sink down. Draw the outline of the foot. Palms down, stretch forward and up. And breath out, down to waist height, thumbs in onto the palms, form fist, 
step out to the left into a wide stance, sink down onto the horse. Shoulders back, elbows back, elbows squeezed towards each other to create some resistance. Breath in as we punch and let that release. Roll the arm, palm out, keeping the arm straight, bend the wrist, up and over, thumb in, draw in. Shoulders back, elbow squeezing, big eyes as we send our punch out. Eyes relax as the shoulder and arm relax. Roll the arm again, keeping it straight, bend the wrist, up and over, thumb in, grab it, pull it in. Same again, shoulders back, elbows in, big eyes with the punch, watching the punch, then release. Keep the arm straight as we roll it and bend the wrist. And then up and over, thumb in, draw in. Same again, big eyes, soften as we release, roll the arm, bend the wrist, up and over, thumb in, draw in. Once more to each side. Big eyes again, feel the resistance of the punch going out, and when you release, feel your arm spring forward. Roll the arm, keep it straight while you bend the wrist, up and over, thumb in, grab it, pull it in, shoulder back, elbows squeezing in, big eyes, and again, feel the release. Roll the arm, keep it straight as you bend the wrist, up and over, thumb in, draw in. Extend the fingers, press down, feel that pushing your body up as you come back to the central position. Hands onto your lower back, breath in, massaging up your back, coming up on the balls of the feet as high as comfortable. Breath out, relax down. If you're comfortable with a little drop, little drop onto the heels. Make sure the weight stays centered in the center of the foot and doesn't roll out to either side of your foot as you come up. If it's rolling to the side, come up a little bit lower to keep it central. Breath in, coming up. Breath out, relaxing down. And making sure knees are a little bit bent if we're going to do the little drop onto the heels. And last one. Relax hands down. Breath in to open up. Fingers stretching down towards the floor, spiraling the arms for the stretch. Breath out to relax hands in onto Dantian. For men, left hand onto Dantian first, right hand on top. Women, right hand first, left hand on top. Feel the rhythm of your breath. If you're comfortable with your eyes closed, gently close your eyes. Imagine there's a balloon in your belly about the size of a golf ball. Every breath it fills up to the front, the sides and the back of your belly, your lower back. Feeling that region with a feeling of health, vitality and fresh air. And every out breath it softens and compresses to store that feeling in your body. Focus on that for a few breaths. shake out, give legs a bit of a shake. So we're going to do the um, plum blossom form. So we just go nice and easy, nice and slow. Um, often this form is done with the moves just being done once to each side. I like to do it twice to each side. It feels like it flows a little more. Okay, so again, first thing we're going to do Little turn to the right, sinking the weight, stepping out to the left, out to shoulder width. Make sure you're a little sunk into the legs, feel the rhythm of the breath. Breath in to come up to commence. Breath out to sink. Hands separating a bit like they're coming down a trunk and at waist height they separate more as the plum tree roots search into the earth. Breath in to come up for the plum tree branches to blow in the wind. And we're going to 
just a, a little press out to that side as we press. So that hand's pressing out that way and that hand's pressing out that way. Okay. Back into centre, sinking down plum tree roots, search the earth. Into clouds, blow across the mountain or cloud hands. We're going to bring the left hand across the body, turning the body left, trying to have a continuous smooth action as we're doing this. And just twice to each side. And then when we get back to centre, both hands coming up, ready for our plum tree roots to search the earth. Again, separating a little, and then the roots search the earth. Backs of the hands come together for the birds to leave the nest. Drawing up, opening up. Watch the left hand, let the other one relax down. We're turning the body point to the birds as they fly across the mountain, relax that one down as the other one comes up. So trying to synchronise that, turning the body so it's not just the arm moving, it's the whole body turning, one hand coming up as the other comes down, turning the body to point to the birds again. Last one, one comes up, the other comes down, turning the body when we get to the corner, both hands up, back to the front, and again, plum tree roots search down into the earth. Next one, palms come towards each other, up to chest height, breath in to open up, the warrior guards the mountain, breath out to close. Taking the weight into the right leg, little bit of up with the fingers, and down, watching that right hand and then sinking down, stepping back to centre. Breath in as the hands come up and open up to shoulder width. Breath out as they close, weight into the left leg. And again, a little bit up with the fingers and then down. Sinking back down with the out breath. In breath as we come up and open to shoulder width. Out breath as we close, weight into the right leg, breath in as we open up, watching that right hand, and then relaxing back to centre. Same again. Breath in as we come up, open the shoulder width, breath out. Weight into the left leg, watching the left hand as we open up, and then sinking down. Back to centre, plum tree roots, prepare to search down into the earth. When the mountain maid feeds the birds, we're going to draw the hands in onto the hips and we're going to turn our body to the left, taking the weight into the left hand, gathering the seed, scattering it around, empty step, and a little bit of a bend to stretch that front leg a little as we tip the last of the seed out, back in onto the hip, turn the body to scatter the seed around, Empty step and keep sinking in and back to give a little stretch there as we tip the last of the seed out. And again, little turn of the body. Gather the seed, scatter it around. Empty step and again, hips and bottom come back a little. A little stretch and back across. One more time, turning the body, gather the seed, scatter the seed, tip the last of the seed out back into centre, gently press down and with our breath in, again we're preparing for our plum tree roots to search down into the earth. Next one, left hand comes across the body towards the opposite shoulder, right hand draws in, ready for warrior points the way. We're going to step and brush the knee, press and soften. Draw that hand in onto left shoulder. Draw the other hand up so fingers are pointing to the front. Brush the knee, step and press. Bring the hand in onto the right shoulder. Right hand comes up, 
the hand on the shoulder brushes the knee as we turn the body and then lead with the fingers and press. Drawing that right hand in, left hand comes up and the hand on the shoulder again brushes as we turn the body, lead with the fingers, press the hand. Back to centre, breath in to draw up. Breath out, plum tree roots, search down into the earth. Next one, we're going to stir the plum blossom on the surface of the lake. We're turning our body to the left, little circle. Then a medium sized circle. And then a big circle. Little circle first, out to the right, medium sized circle, and then a big circle. And we'll go the same again, out to the left, small circle first, then the medium sized circle, and then the big circle. the other way. Small circle first, medium sized circle, and then the big circle. When we're back to centre, gentle press down, breath in to prepare again for our plum tree roots to surf down into the earth. Separating a little and then separating more as they come down. Mountain maid waves her hair, breath in, Come up, hands coming up near the ears, little bit of a turn of the body and step, and a little following step. Right fingers turn to left palm, left palm turns up, turn the body to push over the top. The bottom hand forms the hook, other hand palm up and we extend over the top. Step in, hands come back up, and again little turn of the body and then stepping to the right. Left fingers point to right wrist, turn that right one palm up, turn the body to push over the top, form the hook with the bottom hand, fingers in towards you, palm up, draw to extend. Step back in, hands come up, and again turn the body a little, and step, little following step, left hand palm up, turn the body to push over the top, bottom hand fingers in towards you, form the hook, extend down. Step in, hands come in, and again turn the body, step and follow. Right hand palm up, turn the body to push over the top. Form the hook with the bottom hand, fingers in towards you, other hand palm up to extend. Step back to centre, and again our plum tree roots search down into the earth. Then we're going to scoop up the blossom to scatter it into the wind, taking a step to the left, pressing all the way down into that foot. Arms open out to the side, up and over, step through with the right foot empty step and press down. Lift up to scoop into the wind, step back to centre. Same again, scooping up the blossom, Taking a step, press all the way down, arms come out to the side, up and over, and press down. Separate, scoop up the blossom, scatter it into the wind. Step back to centre. Same again, scooping up the blossom, taking a step, pressing all the way down into that foot, hands separate, come up and over, Press down, separate, scoop up, scatter the blossom into the wind. And we'll go one more time. Scooping up the blossom, taking a step to the right corner, press down all the way in that foot, hands come up and over, empty step, press down, separate, gather the blossom, scatter it into the wind. Step back to centre. 
breath in as we come up, ready for our plum tree roots to search down into the earth. Warrior pounds his fist, left hand and left foot out in front, right hand comes in, as it comes in, turning palm up. So you've got this sort of half circle here. Form the fist, imagine there's a string between your fist and your knee, draw that up, drop the foot and the fist together, same to the right. Right one extends out, draw in, palm up, form the fist, imagine there's a string pulling the knee up and drop. Same again, left hand out in front, right one comes in onto the elbow, form the fist and pull. Same again. Breath in as we come up, breath out as we sink down, plum tree roots, search the earth. And Sage strokes his beard three times to finish off. Nice, slow breath in, shoulders low and relaxed, finding your own rhythm. Step into centre, hands onto Dantian. Men left hand first, right hand on top. Women right hand first, left hand on top. Feel the rhythm of your breath. If you're comfortable with your eyes closed, gently close your eyes. Imagine there's a balloon in your belly about the size of a golf ball. Every breath it fills up to the front, the sides and the back of your belly, your lower back. Feeling that region with a feeling of health, vitality and fresh air. And every out breath it softens and compresses to store that feeling in your body. Focus on that for a few breaths. A bit of a shake out, give the legs a bit of a shake. So a couple of our um, plum blossom moves are quite complicated. So just going to break down the fair maiden or mountain maid weaves the hair. This one we've got a little bit of a turn of the body, hands coming up. That winds our body so it's like a spring wound this way, and we step and let it unwind. We have right fingers pointing to left hand, turn the palm up, turn the body to push over the top, bottom hand, fingers in towards you, form the hook, right hand palm up, the right hand draws in onto the hip as the left one extends. This bony point extending out, so we've got a stretch. And we step back in, and again, just a little turn of the body to wind up this spring here. Let the spring release. Turn that right part, turn the body. Bottom hand turns in, forms the hook. Left hand palm up. And we extend the hook and we bring that left one in onto the hip. Okay, so we'll just do that one more time to each side. Step in, little bit of a turn of the body. Let the body unwind. Turn left hand palm up, push over the top. Form the hook with the bottom one, fingers in. Right hand palm up. Extend, right hand comes in on the hip, left one out. And that bony point there leading. Step in, hands coming in, turning the body again, and same again. Step, follow. Turn the palm up, push over the top, form the hook, left hand palm up. Hook extends, left hand comes into the hip. Step back to centre and palm tree roots search the earth. Now the other one that's a bit tricky is this, this one, where we're pounding the fist. We want to imagine there's a string between our fist and our knee. When we drop this, we're not actively stamping down, we're just letting it fall, and we're just letting the fist fall. And so when that hits the ground, there's no body weight in it. All my body weight is here, so that's just a boom. Okay. Then we can shift our weight across, 
step out. I'm going to roll this one in a little bit. So a little feeling of rolling in. Lift the knee. And again, we want to drop it. And we don't want any weight in it. We don't want to fall our weight this way. That's how we'll hurt that. If we just let that fall. Boom. Also, if this hand is too far down, you'll tend to not get it with the back of the hand. Okay, So you want to have it about belly button height, maybe just below belly button, so that that's comfortable. If it's down there, it'll feel tense, okay? All right, so just a little shake out, give legs a shake out, and thanks very much.